Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Ambush Bug. He made his very first appearance in DC Comics Presents issue number 52 in December of 1982. His real name is Erwin Schwab and he stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighs 145 pounds, and has no hair but green eyes. He's a ridiculous character who's basically just a skinny guy in a costume. And despite him being a master reporter and interviewer, he pretty much has no superpowers other than the fact that he has a suit that gives him the ability to teleport. But this ability eventually became a part of himself and not just his suit. He's known for having extreme dumb luck as well as having a surprising level of agility and unarmed fighting skills. Interestingly being vulnerable to ridiculous characters, but due to his abstract thought patterns and this luck, he tends to give higher level combatants like Batman and Superman a more difficult time. And to round out all of his ridiculousness, he's one of the very first characters to be aware of the fourth wall, being fully conscious of the fact that he's a character in a comic book. This fourth wall breaking is extreme as well, being able to follow the internal thoughts of other characters as well as being fully aware of the fact that there's other comic book universes such as Marvel. Now, although Ambush Bug starts out as a villain, there comes a turning point in his life. After a brief spat that he has with Superman and some other heroes, he chooses to try to become a superhero just like them, even going as far as considering himself Superman's friend without his permission, which only irritates Supes even more. Later, there came a day where he was tinkering around with one of the components of his suit. And while trying to fix one of the little bugs that made him be able to teleport, he caused an explosion that destroyed all of the bugs, but it internalized this ability into his person. And funny enough, he made a slick reference to Spider-Man's black costume, seeing as how this explosion temporarily turned his costume black. From there, he went on to be known as the hard-nosed news reporter from Channel 52, not worrying if he ruffles a few feathers to get at the truth. Over the years, he's done just about anything to get a good interview with heroes and villains about their latest adventures. He was around during the Trinity War, he could be seen during Darkseid's invasion, and he was there for nearly every single crisis and convergence, putting a microphone in the faces of the most important players. It didn't matter whether it was Earth 1, Earth 2, or whether it was the 21st century or the year 4000. His ability to teleport through reality and time seems limitless. He keeps up with the quote-unquote celebrity drama too, whether it's changes in the roster of the Teen Titans or getting the real scoop on Superwoman's baby. He can even give you insight into the drama of the gods on Mount Olympus. Ambush Bug takes the stories that the Daily Planet won't touch with a 10-foot pole, and other than occasionally being slowed down by a few enemies like an Argyle Sock, he tends to be the first one on the scene. And yes, I did say Sock. Now for his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Ambush Bug a rating of 4, which is a rating of Journeyman. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.